Hello, hello, everybody. I hope you guys are all doing absolutely amazing. Welcome back to another video here on my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be breaking down the directions that you can take for the recession proof strategies on how you can make your first dollar online and protect yourself from what the heck is going on in the world. Everything that you see in this thread is going to show you the pros, the cons, the disadvantages, the advantages of every direction that you can take to actually start making money online and scaling to 10K a month. I personally went down these routes myself. I'm going to show you what worked, what didn't work, and what's the easiest, what is has the, the highest return on investment based off of time, based off the money that you put in, what is the hardest barrier of entry, what's the most simplistic barrier of entry, and a few other things. So with that being said, my friends, let's go ahead and start this off. There are two main routes I recommend for beginners to go in if they want to make money online. Number one is an e-com brand, and number two is starting an agency. Before we talk about each, you must understand one thing. Every single one of these routes will have its ups and downs. Each route will require a different skill set, which involves the process of mastering them. I'm talking about what Bruce Lee talks about. He's not afraid of the guy who knows 10,000 kicks. He's afraid of the guy who's practiced one kick 10,000 times. Mastery is what's important. Mastery is what's going to set you apart from the rest. And that takes time and that takes experience. So if you're going to be here and you want to try acting shocked when something doesn't work out in your favor, or you don't want to stay consistent, then honestly, get the heck out of here, right? Don't even bother listening to the rest of this video, right? Just turn off, go watch some Netflix and, and enjoy your life living in a victim state. That's the reality. This is going to be a tough journey. This is going to be a very, very difficult journey. You got to understand that nothing is going to be all sunshines and rays in rainbows. You're going to oh. fail. It's inevitable. And what matters is you'll get back up. Remember, your vision will stay the same, but strategies will change. So if some strategy doesn't work, then it isn't the end of the world. Your goal obviously isn't to fail all the time, but once it happens and it will happen, failure is inevitable. You just got to be ready to pivot and create a new solution. Your goal as a person making money online is to seek solutions stay solution focused. Go write that down on your paper. Go write that down on a whiteboard. Last point before we start talking about each path to make money online is to understand there isn't much new things under the sun. This means thousands of people have done what I'm going to teach you right now and thousands and thousands of them have failed for you. So you don't have to make those same mistakes over and over again. Let's, let's learn through wisdom so you don't have to make BS mistakes. Google isn't your best friend too. That's the honest truth. Google spits out shallow knowledge that is ranked based off information they want to share with you. It's biased. That's the truth. So instead of using Google, I have a list of sites that I read that I use to actually inform myself around this value to improve my skill set that I'm going to be introducing to you all as well. They're basically forums and Facebook groups. Forums and Facebook groups will be your best friend as a newbie. You'll get straight line paths towards mastering specific skills. And a prime example being the Utopia.io, right? They walk you through mastering the skill of making money online, whether it be an e-com brand or an agency. Thousands of people have made money online because of it and the links in my bio. So with that being said, let's go into route number one, an e-com brand. I'm a whiz of e-com and I've built multiple six and seven figure stores and I've scaled multiple client stores to seven figures and beyond. And it would be uncharacter like of me to say anything bad about e-com, but, but to be honest, there's a lot of downsides for beginners. <laughs> There are a few routes that you can take here. Number one is drop shipping. If you're serious about making money online, then you've probably already heard about this. The advantages include it's a low overhead cost. You can kill products very quickly and test new ones if it's not validated. And it's a fast way to master e -com. But the disadvantages are shipping times are absolutely horrible, especially what's going on in the world right now. Product quality usually sucks. And finding a winning product is time consuming and can be expensive. It was more expensive before because you needed to use paid ads like Facebook to actually test the product. But now we got TikTok. So it's actually become quite a bit easier if you know how to go viral with creative, creative videos. So the last point about being expensive to test is the biggest turnoff for newbies. That's the truth. The reason for this is it's not easy as setting up a store, beginning ads and making money. I filled at 12 stores before I had my first profitable one. You will need to test dozens of products to really find the winner, which can cost you thousands and thousands a month. And if you go this route, you need to choose a product that is either A, a painkiller, which solves a problem, or B, a vitamin, which enhances someone's life. The painkiller route is always the easiest. The best way to figure out what these are are by studying e-com brands and deconstructing what 
they're doing. Look at someone else's brand. Are they a painkiller? Are they a vitamin? What marketing angles are they using? The second option you can use for e-com is print on demand. POD is another easy barrier of entry route for new e-com brand owners, which means anyone and their mother can start this by using print on demand sites like Printful and Printify. You can print your own demands on white label products like hats, clothing, supplements. I could have the Utopia or Wizard of Ecom logo on them. And the advantage is, is it's a very low barrier of entry, right? It's very simple to set up. And you can have a store ready. live within a few days and the shipping times aren't actually that bad too. But the disadvantage here is it's very hard to stand out because if everyone and their mother, every John, Dick and Harry can pull up and, and create their own store, that means they are, right? They're, it's very difficult. There's a lot of competition. It's very difficult to stand out. So you can use those websites that I said above. And my friend, Kobe Gatsby said it really well. He says, people think building a clothing brand is creating a cool design and throwing it on a hoodie. It's way bigger than that. People have to buy into a story, the community and the emotion behind your products if you want to be successful. An emotional connection plus great designs equals money, 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 money. Now, the third option for e-com, your own product. This is the best route for starting an e-com brand, in my opinion. You create or found a product that has a strong product market fit, and you know there isn't much competition out there. The advantage is, is there's a high barrier of entry. Not many people will be able to copy you. Branding it in a unique way and solve problems is very simple to do. And you can really focus on customer experience and high quality marketing. The disadvantage is, is high risk. If it fails, you lose a lot of money. And a prime example of this is my friend, Amma Official. She has a brand called We Are Plant Made. She focuses on her own product, focus on customer experience, improve the branding, then focus on the money. In e there are multiple skills you will also have to master because most beginners don't have crazy budgets to hire a team. So you will be really juggling a lot of roles and wearing a lot of different hats, right? So to create an e-com brand, you're going to have to master the following. Number one is your business foundation, which is how to product test, right? And right now we're in the day and age of TikTok. So you're going to have to learn how to go viral on TikTok organically. How can you make controversy in your video so other people are sharing it? How do you showcase your products and benefits inside of your TikTok videos in a very clean, sly manner to validate the product as quickly as possible? Number two is offers and positioning. How do you create an irresistible offer? Number three is the logistics, right? Next up is is conversion rate optimization. We have to have great site speed. How annoying is it going to a website and it takes 10 to 12 seconds to load? I guarantee you 90% of you aren't going and waiting through for that entire time frame. You got to study conversion rate optimization, copywriting, email marketing, SMS marketing, um, growing a presence on Instagram or TikTok, paid media, influencer marketing, Facebook ads, TikTok ads, creative curation, and a little bit about customer support. Of course, you don't have to master every single thing immediately because you just first need to validate the product, which is basically having a killer website, which has CRO elements all throughout it, as well as how to validate the product and how to fulfill the product with great customer experience. And then you can start looking into the rest, which is emails, SMS, et cetera. Every single skill from above, you'll be able to master absolutely perfectly inside of our marketer's utopia. All three of those e-com paths will be found inside. So you don't need Google, no need to buy a course. Everything you need will be there for you. Number two is a marketing agency. In my opinion, this is the recommended route for beginners. Marketing agencies are about mastering a monetizable skill and selling it as a service for business owners who need it. So the process involves choosing a skill to master, becoming an expert at it by learning about it in the utopia, for example, and practicing it for free in exchange for a review. So clients will come in, pay you thousands of dollars a month to help them make more money. Example, I own an e-com brand. It does $150,000 on a monthly basis. 2% of the revenue comes in from emails. If you own an email marketing agency, you would be able to offer that as a service to me by poking me on my pain points and understanding my goals as a brand. So beyond just this YouTube video, I also created a massive resource for you that 6,888 people have already taken. It's a step-by-step -step roadmap of everything you need to do to create an online marketing agency from choosing your offer, mastering the scale, how to actually get clients, and so much more. It breaks down everything you need to do in a sequential order. So if you want access to that, go ahead and click the link in the bio that says 10K Journey. What you guys can also do is check out the utopia.io in the link below. Everyone who uses the code 15 utopia will get 15% off their membership for life. It has 5,500 marketing strategies to help you build a profitable brand online. But otherwise, guys, this has been it. I'm going to see you guys next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share this with your friends, and we're going to talk to you all soon.